For the Father of the Bride section, we've put that melody onto French horn as we'd always planned, kept those piano chords from the sketch in their very simple uh, form. We'd also um, added in the heart part, keeping that pattern going in the root fifth pattern, just to pad that out a bit more. The marimba also continues with its fast tremolo, uh, really soft pad. We have the pad underneath, the textures, actually moving with the chords as well. You're better not really going to hear this very much. Um, I'll solo it. Because the pad has such a slow attack, you're only really going to hear the end bits coming in. But it just helps add a little bit of character to it. And then we've also added this string part as well. And again, keeping those movement in the strings very, very simple. So this is vi uh, violins at the top, violins two, violas, and cello. So the cello is just going to follow the root notes. And then our violins and viola part, we're just trying to make sure there's as little movement as possible. There's a few ways you can do this. Uh, I've in the past I've actually written out the chord tones in order and then sort of drawn a little path, different using different colours for each each uh, part, which can be one way. And the more you practice it, the more you'll you, you'll be able to visualise it. If you practice keyboard skills, that can be a really good way to figure out how parts can move together. But the important thing is not to always play them in like a keyboard. If this was like a keyboard, uh, I would have these parts probably down an octave, so you have a really cluster in the middle as if you were playing it with one hand so we space this out so the string part is is wider let's have a listen to that Computer's glitching a little bit. Sorry if that's coming across on the audio. It's not. It's not uh, used to having camera, screen, and sample libraries all running at the same time. The melodies on the French horn, that, as I mentioned before, now the French horn is such a versatile instrument. It's it's probably one of my favourite orchestral instruments because you can do so much with it. It can be harsh and aggressive. It has a huge range, but it can also be so soft and beautiful and warm, um, as you can hear. So beautiful. But also very royal sounding as well. So we combine all of that together. We have this nice, still has that romance and the pads and the soft sounds underneath, but just with a bit more pulse and a bit more pace gives it a bit more royalty. drops out for the handing over. Just back to our pads and harp sound. The marimba joins back in as the melody comes in and the melody is a combination of the really simple part of the melody from the beginning and a slightly more developed part in the left hand. We just hold for that final chord and we'll fade that out in the mix. And there you have it, that's the piece orchestrated, expanded out. So the next thing for you to do now is to orchestrate your pieces. You should have your sketch together. I, I asked you to do that before you saw mine so that you didn't have your all your ideas spoiled by mine. 
and now the next part is to expand it out. Put it onto the new instrumentation, uh, pad out your strings, look at how you can arrange them so they work fluidly and smoothly. And But yeah, most importantly, think really, really carefully about how it's going to be played, whether it's possible to play what you're writing on the instrument you're writing for. You saw my French horn part. Gap, look, easy to breathe. Play a blow, it's quite a long phrase, blowing, blowing, and then a bit of a gap. Breathe. <gasps> Think about that. Think about how it's played. Is it playable? You need to make sure it is, because if not, that's a dead giveaway that you're not working with real instrumentation. Okay, get to orchestrating and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something new. This video was taken from my complete course on composing romantic music. If you'd like to sign up, there's a link in the description that'll get you enrolled for just $10.99. I go through the whole process, including the planning and prep, composition, orchestration, mixing, and mastering. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe to get new tips and tricks weekly on composing and producing music for Moving Image.